Hello everyone! As promised, this is my English version of my little frustration video of this morning. So I was saying that I was pretty proud lately because in Quebec we were maintaining our numbers uh, quite nicely, I must say. You know, it went up, of course. Uh, but uh, you can't avoid that. Uh, Quebec is not uh, a safer place than anywhere else in the world uh, for the virus, I mean. So I was pretty proud, but oh, surprise! Oh my God, this morning I woke up and from 221 confirmed cases, we're now, we are now at 1,339 cases confirmed uh, this morning, according to uh, the Quebec government. Uh, most of it in Montreal, obviously, it's the big city, we live closer, chances are. Um, so, my frustration is, uh, of course, uh, the rise of number, but it's what it made me realize. It made me realize that there is a group of, how should I call them, to be polite, but then, uh, idiots, yes! That's the word I was looking for. There is a group of idiots out there that decided to continue life as if nothing is going on. Yes, I did say idiots and I will not retract that word. You know, like they decided to continue meeting, to take walks together as a group, like outside of the family member. They go walk around as if nothing happened they uh, they do uh, they bring uh, friends over for dinner what I'm thinking is like okay you're an idiot that actually he's putting my family at risk or someone I know or a friend or even someone I don't know like people from the uh, health industry the doctors, the nurses, you know, those people deserve at least your respect and your consideration and they deserve for you to stay home and take the steps for all of us to be safe. These people put their life at risk every day. They always do every day because being a doctor, that's what, or a nurse, that's what you do by kind of a default setting. But in a time like this, with a pandemic, no. These people are not, are not your, your servants. They don't owe you anything. They don't owe you. They do it because it's a calling from their heart to save people. And it's noble and they deserve respect. So to all those idiots out there, just please think about these people. And also think about the rest of us that we lost our jobs, we lost our revenue, and we don't know for how long, but the bills keep coming. And yes, they are going to help us, the government says, but how and when, and do you fit in the criterias, and how, did you feel the right form it's not going to be that easy to get that money, okay? So don't make yourself think that, oh, I'm home and I'm going to be taken care of. Uh, uh, no, come down back on earth with us, you know, with the rest of us. That would be nice, you know, realistic. So, yeah. So to all the idiots out there, please refrain from going out. It's not a complicated concept, but if you do go out for groceries, because we all need food, wash your hands before you step out. Wash your hands when you step in. Once you've done your groceries and you've put all your groceries away, wash your hands again, because lots of people have touched that stuff and you don't know and you don't want to take a risk there might be nothing there probably is nothing but just in case you want to protect the family you want to protect 
the friends, you want to protect the children you have at home, you want to protect maybe you have grandparents living with you at home. Do those steps. Stay home. Clean your hands. Do not touch your face. And just in case I didn't say it, stay home. It's not complicated. All right? So, <clears throat> thank you so much for listening to me. If you don't agree with what I said, I invite you to leave your comments down below. Yes, my nail is broken and I can't go repair it. Anyway, so leave your comment below and I will gladly reply to you. You're allowed to not share my opinion and that's okay. But uh, I think I'm not far from the truth. But if yeah just whatever anyway so uh, i love you all i don't love the idiots but i will i'm ready to give them a second chance because it's not too late yet so i love you all mwah, mwah. and uh, stay safe stay home